All right, hoop glider competition. And this is what the hoop glider is going to look like. Okay, there's going to be a small loop, a larger loop, and then a straw between them. As uh, students are experimenting with this, making this, what they're going to find is that if the smaller loop's on the front, it's going to fly better. But uh, you may or may not want to tell that to your students. Maybe that's something they, they need to try to figure out on their own. Now, how do we make this? Uh, what it takes is a 3x5 note card. And if you take that 3x5 note card and uh, break it into thirds, have students cut on it, what you can do, and I've got it set up here on the board, is you can take one of those strips and make your smaller loop, uh, fold it over on itself, maybe about a half an inch or so, and put a piece of tape. And then with the other two remaining strips, you can make a larger hoop. So same thing, uh, overlap about a half inch using tape on each side there, and then taking a straw and putting it on the inside of the loop, and again using tape on the inside to attach it. Now when you do this, um, you're going to get your hoop glider. You can tell them uh, they can experiment with things. They can uh, adjust the length of the straw. They can use a shorter one. They can put a couple straws together maybe and make a really long one to see if that helps. Um, you can have them try with hoops that maybe don't line up. What if there's a hoop on the bottom and a hoop on the top? Will that work? That's something they can experiment with. If you want to add some arts to this uh, STEAM project, you can allow the students to maybe add some designs and uh, make their hoop glider look pretty neat. So what we're doing with this is uh, giving uh, the kids a chance to, to build this and then go through some trial runs. Give it a, a few tosses and see what they can change or fix to have the best launch possible. Right now we're in the competition room. You might want to do this in the hall or maybe even try it in your classroom if you have room. But what I like to do is I like to have the students uh, stand at a line. I have a, a line of masking tape back behind the camera here. They'll take their hoop gliders and they will, they'll give it a toss. And what I have is some masking tape that I folded over a little bit and the students put their team name on this. There's still a little bit of stickiness left. And what I do is I will point with my foot where their hoop glider hits the floor and they will put that right where my foot's at. Then they'll try to improve. They'll, they'll throw again and then if it's better, I'll point my foot where it's at, they'll pull up this tape and they'll put it back wherever their new toss is at. So um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go behind the camera and I'm gonna toss a few of these hoop gliders out just so that you can see what this might look like. Some of them work well, some of them uh, not so much. That one kind of shot down. That one not too bad. And that one shot off sideways, but flew.